Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Bahashem meaning coming in the name. Ba means coming in. Ha means the. Shah means name. Raka means spirit. Kodash means holy. Double honors to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the elders and the apostles and bishops of Great Millstone who were well and teach well, because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom to you, sincere brothers that are scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. And shalom to you, sincere sisters that's listening in silence, as the scriptures command you to do so. I am the brother Mashiach, I rise a and pretty much we're going to go into faith. Okay, we're going to go into faith because it's important to have faith. You know, you still have these guys out here that are pushing the laws like crazy. You know, you got Israelites pushing the doctrine that we are bound by the laws. Now, don't get me wrong. All right, we are to keep the laws, but we're not going to be able to keep them perfectly. Okay, we broke the old covenant. You know, the laws, the laws, statutes and commandments, the laws, they can't save us. Faith is what's going to save us. OK, so we have to have faith just by you going out to the highways and byways and to preach the gospel. That's just with faith within itself for you to, to be diligent in the truth and doing three videos a week and going out to camp and believing that you're an Israelite. That's with faith. That's with faith. So we're going to get some scriptures out. We're going to start in Galatians. This is Galatians chapter 3 and verse 21. Lord willingness, that's is edifying. It says, is the law then against the promise of the Most High? God forbid. Meaning no, no, right? And this is, it says, it says, for if there had been a law given which could have given life, it says, verily righteousness should have been by the law, right? Verse 22 but the scripture have concluded all under sin that the promise by faith of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach might be given to them that believe. Verse 23, before faith came, we were kept under the law, right? We, we were bound by the laws, right? When we were under the laws, we were bound by the laws, right? You couldn't repent. If you broke the laws if we were under laws and you was caught broken breaking the mosaic law you was executed and put to death right then and there on the spot in the ancient world so now through yahweh shai's blood we have temporal grace okay through the messiah's blood we have temporal grace so we're able to repent okay we're in a temporal grace period grace is not eternal it's temporal right it's to get us prepared for that second coming of the lord right Sorry about that, my appointment. It says, Wherefore the law was our school. Actually, I read from the top. So like it. Verse 23. But before faith came, we kept, we kept under the law, shut up unto the faith, which should afterward be revealed. Verse 24. Wherefore the law was our schoolmasters to bring us on to Yahweh Shai, that we might be justified by faith. You see that? So we're justified by faith. Faith is what's going to save us. Right? Verse 25. But after that faith has come right we no longer under school masters because we have faith we broke the law statutes and commandments we already broke the old covenant okay so we are in temporal grace so we're able to repent if we if we sin because when you sin you're breaking the mosaic law you commit adultery right you you you, you have sex with your woman on the sabbath right you didn't mean to right uh we gotta work we got brothers that have to work on the sabbath day because you're supposed to keep the Sabbath day holy according to the Mosaic law. Today's the Sabbath right now. As I'm speaking, today is the Sabbath. You see that? So we have to, this is why we have grace. You see? Because you got brothers in this truth that's not able to keep the Sabbath day holy. They got to work on a Sabbath day. Right? So there's laws that we can keep that we're trying to keep to the best of our ability. Because we, we broke the old covenant, man. Okay? So... We no longer are bound by the law. We're able to repent if we break the law. You see that we're able to repent. But in the ancient world, if three witnesses caught you breaking the laws, you was you was executed and put to death, man. Okay? This is why it's a blessing to to have temporal grace. 
verse 26, it says, For ye are all children of the Most High by faith in Yahweh Shai. You see that? So that's the main point I wanted to read. So we're no longer uh, uh, under the laws, but we still have to keep them, though, to the best of our ability. We're not justified or bound by the law. Because if we were justified and bound by the laws, like these other groups is teaching that, um, you know, we are to keep the laws perfectly. If we were justified and bound by the laws, you would be put to death. There's laws that you, I said this many times, even the elder said it. There's laws out there that you, that you could be breaking that you don't even know that you're breaking. This is why we have temporal grace. Okay. But, you know, getting back to the main point, we are to have faith. Faith is the main important thing. Now you got Jake's out there that call us faith based Israelites, which is totally fine. That you want to call us. That's fine. Okay, because the laws is what I mean. The faith, the laws is pretty much, you know, we are rehearsing the righteous acts. Okay, we're not willingly sinning out here. Yeah, we are to keep the laws to the best of our ability, the ones that we can keep. But you're not going to be able to keep all 613 laws perfectly in this mortal flesh. That's not going to happen. Okay, you're going to go off. Matthew 21, 22. Number one, you're in these corruptible flesh. And number two, we're in captivity to these 17 heathen nations. There's 17 heathen nations ruling over us, man. Matthew 21, 22, it says, In all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. See, believing is with what? Faith. Believing in this 100% truth. That's, you know, that's having the faith. Believing that you're an Israelite. That's what faith. You know, going out to the highways and byways and preaching the gospel. That's what faith. For you to be able to do all of these things in the truth, that's what faith within itself. Romans 10 and 17, so then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Most High. You see that? So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Most High. So there you go. So faith is the most important thing, man. We, we must have faith. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Lord. See, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of the Lord. All right? We have faith. You're supposed to have faith. Matthew 17 to 20, and Yahweh Shai said unto them, because of your unbelief, right? Because you had Peter, he, he had the spirit of doubt, right? So, you know, he was pretty much, you know, showing and telling the apostles, you know, you can't have, uh, you can't have doubts, you know, you got to believe, you got to have faith, you can't have doubts. Verse 20, it says, and Yahweh Shai said unto them, because of your unbelief, for verily, for truly, I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed. Now, a grain of a mustard seed is smaller than a popcorn seed. Okay? A grain of a mustard seed is very, 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 very small. Okay? It says, If ye have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall be removed, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. So if you have faith as small as, small as a grain of a mustard seed, anything is possible, man. This is why it's, it's important to have faith. You know, faith is the most important thing that we that we need and that we must have in this truth. You know, Hebrews 11 and 1. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. We hope for a lot in this truth. We open to sustaining the truth. We hoping that the Lord don't shift us out. We hoping and praying that we are of the elect. We hoping and praying to see the end of Esau's rulership in his kingdom. We hope and pray that we remain diligent, man. Right. And that the Lord doesn't take the spirit from us. Right? The Lord keeps the spirit on us. He keeps us teaching. He keeps us glorifying him and serving him. Right? We, we, we hope for a lot. We're prisoners of hope. Right? It says the evidence of things not seen. Right? The chariots coming back. Yahawashai. These are evidence of things not seen. Yahawashai didn't come back yet. The angels didn't come back yet. The, this, this society hasn't co fully collapsed. Right? The MOTB isn't fully established yet. These are the things, evidence of things not seen. Now, we do see the MOTB being pushed. But it ain't fully in effect of it being a new currency. We ain't seen this place collapse. We ain't seen no nothing fully happen yet. All right. We ain't seen Yahweh Shai and the angels come back, but Yahweh Shai and the angels are coming back. And they're coming back to do judgment. These are the evidence of things not seen. All right. So we have that. We have the hope. Okay. We're hoping for salvation. We're hoping for a lot in this truth. We hope for a lot in this truth. Right. Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, without faith, and this is why you need to have faith. You guys out there that's abound by the law, you guys are being law, law crazy out there. The laws, the laws, the laws, the laws is what's going to save us. The laws is going to save us. The laws is what's going to save us. If you don't have faith, you're not going to be able to make it. You have to have faith. 
But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Possible to please who? Yahweh Shem Yahshai. Right? Without faith, you're not going to be able to sustain it in the truth. You're not. It says, for he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a warder of them that diligently seek him. See that? So you got to have a faith. Without faith, you're not going to be able to sustain in this truth. You're not. You're not going to be able to sustain in this truth, man. So I just wanted to do a quick hit on this. Lord willingness, that's a zedifying. I want to give our honors and glories and praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahashai, by Hashem, Yahweh, Kakodash. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole from the neck. Shalom to you, sincere brothers. Scatter abroad, push your forth this word in truth and sincerity. And shalom to you, sincere sisters, that's listening to sides as the scriptures command you to do so. I am the brother Mashiach Razaka. The Lord willingness, that's a zedifying. On to the next one. Till next time I say, shalom.